Hey guys, happy Monday. I'm super excited to be here with you guys tonight because we are going to be talking about a topic that I am pretty passionate about, something I really love doing, and I hope that I can give you some advice on how to do it for yourself too. So today we're going to be talking about how to coordinate your closet with your epiphany pieces, how to get the the most out of what you purchase from Epiphany as well as what you already have in your closet. It may not even be Epiphany piece. So I'm super, super excited. I'm gonna share with y'all kind of my mindset when I order myself new clothes and how I make sure that I have things to wear it with and that can coordinate with it. And I just super am so excited. I'm gonna show y'all a few different styling tricks. Hey Nancy, hey Rose, that I do to pair some pieces together that you may not think about and y'all I'm just really excited about it a lot of you guys I know came to us from planner land if you're not from planner land then just ignore this part but you guys know that I love stickers and I love doing plan with me videos because I love finding stickers that go together and designing them on a page like I love that I like to think of my closet as the same basic thing and but instead of a bunch of stickers it's a bunch of clothes, but I still love being creative and coming up with ways to make the clothes go together and make them match and make them fit. Kind of the same way that I'm with my stickers. I like to find different things that stickers go with just like I do like to do with clothes. So tonight's video is going to be a little bit more of like a how to video more than a sale. A lot of the pieces that I show are available. So if you're interested in purchasing any of them, you can let me know in the live or I'm also going to be posting albums afterwards about about my coordinated set so that you guys can see them but I'm just super super excited to show you guys how I coordinate my closet hi Kelly hi Sherry hey Tomie hey Nicole hey Nancy hey Lamisha hey Kirsten I'm just like I'm so excited I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to kind of show you guys like my tips and tricks for coordinating your closet. So, I'm, hey guys, hey everybody, I'm so excited you guys are all here. We're gonna have so much fun tonight. I'm thinking that we may actually start like a Monday night how-to series, and each night, or not each night, but each Monday night, maybe we'll go live with like a new kind of how-to get the most out of your epiphany. So like, tonight is how to coordinate your clothes. Maybe next week it'll be like, how to make a capsule, or how to, Think outside the box with your outfits. I don't know. C different things. Maybe Monday will be like our new how-to night. I'm super excited about this. We're going to be coordinating our closets. Okay? So, we're going to start off with, first off, if you guys saw my post today, you saw me asking if I should do my nails white. I've never done them white before, and I did it. And y'all, I'm obsessed with them. This is like my favorite manicure that I maybe have gotten in like a really long time. So, oh, that's a good one, Tomie. How to mix prints. That's something else I love. I promise I can mix prints outside of stripes and florals. That's a good one. That, how to accessorize. See? Okay, so I'm going to make a post later tonight or maybe tomorrow that's like, what kind of how-to videos do you want? And we'll just make Mondays like our how-to days. That'll be super fun. So today is, don't they look so cute? I'm like obsessed with them. I've never done white nails before. And now I'm like, am I ever going to do another color? Am I ever? Oh, that's a good one too. How to travel light with Epiphany. How to pair shoes. Y'all, these are genius ideas. Okay, I'm probably going to forget all of these ideas. So keep them in your head and I'm going to make a post later today or it might be tomorrow um, that says what how-tos do you want and we'll make Mondays how-to Mondays. Um, they, these are my real nails. They're my real nails, but it's dip. So it's dip, but it's not like fake nails. These are my real nails just with a dip manicure. Um... I didn't do the Chrome Lisa because I didn't say, um, I didn't see your post until after I, I had gotten them done. But these are all great ideas. Holly, if you're here, write them down for us. If you're not, we'll make a post and everyone can put them, okay? The travel one. that I think the travel one, we may need to do that like next week because people are going to be going on spring break soon. So that would be good. Okay. So tonight is how to coordinate your closet. So there's main, there's one main rule that you need to keep in mind when you want your closet to coordinate, okay? When you're wanting like, and when I say coordinate, what does it mean when I say coordinate? When I say coordinate, I'm thinking like you buy a piece and it's, you're going to be able to wear it with a couple of different things. You have a couple of different things that you could pair it with because the worst thing is 
that you, when you get a piece that you in, that you're in love with, you've got this new print, it's beautiful, you're so excited to wear it and you don't have anything to wear it with. That's like one of the worst things ever. We'll definitely do a travel one. Maybe I'll even do it later this week. That way y'all have it before spring break. Um So, I lost my train of thought. That's true. It doesn't have to match perfectly. It just needs to coordinate. Okay, so when I think of my closet, rule your the main rule when you're wanting your closet to coordinate is you need to have a couple of staple pieces. Pieces that you love that are typically solids that you love that can go with a lot of things in your closet. And when you're purchasing things, you want to keep those staple pieces in mind because if you buy something that matches your staple pieces, then you know it's going to coordinate with your closet, okay? So when you're when you're p picking out Spring break in DFW is next week. Isn't that crazy? It's really early and it's freezing today. So yeah, it's next week. And then in like Central Texas, it's the week after that. So, um, so I would say a good closet probably has four to five, maybe more, but at least four to five staple pieces. They're typically solids. It can, and these staple pieces can be a dress, a pair of pants, a layering piece, hi Chantel, or anything like that. So I'm going to share with you guys a few of my staple pieces. I feel like I have about probably five to seven staple pieces. And when I'm picking out my prints for Epiphany, I try to pick out prints that are that I know in my head right away, this is going to pair with one of my staple pieces. So I'm going to show you guys my staple pieces first so that you have them in mind as I'm showing you how I coordinate my closet. So the first staple piece I'm going to share with you guys, it's going to be hard to see because I have a shirt on top of it. Let me take the shirt off so you guys can see, okay? That one of my first staple pieces, this is actually a newer staple piece that I just got, but it's going to go so well, is the black Amsterdam dress. So this is the Amsterdam. It's got the cinch on the side. It's really flirty and fun. And there's so many different ways to wear it. And I bought it because I knew it would become a staple in my closet. I knew right away that it would become a staple in my closet. And so that's why I bought it. So one trick, I'm just, before I pull out my other staple pieces, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what I'm wearing here. This that I had on top of it. I'm going to put it back on. This is a wife and I bought this wife because it matched another one of my staple pieces, which I'll show y'all in a minute. Okay. So I really thought it would be cute to take this wife. Normally you would think to wear a wife with a tank top and a pair of pants or a skirt. That's normally what you think of when you think of one of these mesh wifes. I love it with this Laurel. Now I could leave it down like this. And that still looks really, really cute. It looks like I have on like a uh, pencil skirt underneath this. But with the black sleeves, it looks like I have a shirt underneath. And it's really cute, really comfortable. Y'all like my house shoes? <laughs> should probably take my house shoes off. That is not fashionable. <laughs> so it's really cute just like this. And if you're someone who is nervous about the Amsterdam, because it's, yeah, Orly, I'm obsessed, right? Um... If you're someone who's nervous about the Amsterdam because it is more fitted, but I'm not even gonna lie, I look good in this dress. But if you're someone who is worried about it being more fitted, the wife is like, this is a size up in the wife, so it kind of makes it loose and flowy. And I think this is a really professional look, um, but it's also cute to take it and knot it at the smallest part of your waist. That way you're accentuating that small part of your waist. And it looks really cute knotted up like this too. So I knew right away, obviously black is really easy to have it. Um, it's really easy for black to be one of your stable pieces. Isn't this amazing? Isn't this so cute? So this is a dress and I have a shirt tied on top. But it looks like I just have a skirt on. But it's actually a dress that can be worn by itself. Uh, it would be a Soho would be adorable with this. There's so many things and I'm going to show y'all so many different tops. Your mind's going to be blown in a minute because I'm going to show y'all lots of different styles tied on top of this dress. So just get ready because this 
my, this dress is going to be one of my staple pieces that we're going to talk about. So you're going to see me pairing lots of things with this staple piece, okay? Um, so my other staple pieces, these are not all of my staple pieces, but they're the ones that I find myself reaching for a lot in my closet. One is, of course, the Olive Collette. Duh, okay? One is the Denim Manhattans. Now, in the photo, these Manhattans look almost periwinkle. They're not. In person, they're more of a denim color. Um, of course, this is a great staple piece because it's basically like a pair of jeans. You're going to want a black Amsterdam for sure once I show you all the things that I'm about to do with it. You're going to be obsessed, okay? So these are great staple pieces too because it's basically like a pair of jeans. And then I love the color pink and I find myself reaching for these pink pants a lot. And so whenever um, Piffany comes out with new things in pink, I like to grab the print with pink because I think that like, oh, that's a staple piece that I know I reach for a lot, so I need things to match it. Now, this one wife that I have on matches all of my staple pieces. So right away, I knew when I bought this wife that I would have plenty to wear with it. It would look adorable with these pink pants. Imagine the pink pants under it, okay? Coordinates with the pink in the shirt. It would look good with denim because anything looks good with denim. And it would look good with my olive Colette because the olive Colette is magical okay so that is like the trifecta when you can find a print that matches like all of your staples because then right away I have four different ways that I can wear this one top which is amazing okay so that's like your ultimate goal is to be like oh that goes with so many of my staple pieces but when you can point out your staple pieces in your closet then it's gonna make it it's going to help you pick out the prints that you really want and that are going to go well with your closet. So your first, I'm going to give you homework. You guys know I used to be a teacher. I love teaching. So you have homework. Your homework is to look in your closet and I want you to pick out at least three to five staple pieces that you think you wear the most. These are things that you're comfortable in, that you feel confident in, that you grab over and over. It's probably a solid, might be a stripe or something like that that's easily pairable. But I want you to find your staple pieces and keep them in mind. Maybe even take a picture of them to keep it on your phone. That way when you're looking at pieces, you know right away, oh, I have something that matches that. I can get that print because I know I have something that matches it. And if you want a print and you don't have something that matches, just ask us. We're happy to make a set for you. But this is just a good thing to keep in mind when you're trying to coordinate your closet. Now, I'm going to show you all the different ways that I can make tops and dresses and pants and all the things in my closet. I'm going to show you how to make them work with this Amsterdam. Now, you can do this with any black dress, pretty much. I love that you are taking notes. But the, black, the little black dress is seriously a staple in your closet and it is a way to coordinate so many things in your closet. So if you do not have a little black dress, we need to get you one. We have several to choose from. It doesn't have to be, I know Ashley, aren't they so cute? <laughs> I love that, Nicole. Um, so the, you do need color, Angie. I'm gonna show you some ways right now to add in color with your black wardrobe, okay? We're about to go through it. I'm gonna show y'all all the different ways to wear this black Amsterdam. Now, a lot of these things you can do with other black dresses as well, but I'm just currently loving this black Amsterdam, so I'm gonna show you guys what all to do. So, option number one is a wife. I love it, there's two ways to wear it like we talked about. You can knot it up here at your waist, or you can unknot it and wear it and it looks like a skirt. That's amazing. You know what else we could do? Because I told you guys that one of the best things is when your staple pieces all match. Well, looky here. I can throw my olive. Look at that. I have on a dress, a wife, a collet, two of my staple pieces, coordinate with this top. That's the trifecta. Okay? So, that is option number one with what you can do with a black dress. Now, I'm going to take this top off and I'm going to blow your mind. Okay? Who has a Linux? Okay. I'm going to put on a Linux on top of Amsterdam. Now, when you put the Linux on, you may need to kind of arrange the collar a little bit just so that the dress underneath isn't super obvious. 
the sleeves on the Linux, you can see it from where the, this is, um, but it's really flowy, and so it covers up the sleeve underneath. Now, you have two options again. This, you can do this with any Linux that you have. You can wear it down, and it looks like you're wearing a pencil skirt, okay? This is great, because the only pencil skirt we have is a Met, and, but I love that this looks like I'm wearing a pencil skirt with my top. I'm super cute, I'm super comfortable, but again, you can take your Linux, and you can knot it at the smallest part of your waist, because that is flattering. Rearrange it, kind of tuck it around. Kind of cover this up a little bit. Look, y'all, this is one of my favorites. Look how cute this is. It looks like I'm wearing like a one piece dress. If you ask me, this looks like they go together. Look how cute. And it makes me look skinny because it's right there where I'm the skinniest and it is so flattering, okay? So right now, I want you to think in your head, do you have a Linux that could pair with a dress in your closet? It doesn't have to be an Amsterdam, guys. You could do this with a lot of different dresses. I bet this would even look cute with other things, okay? Yeah, I know, Monica, right? I, it's hard for me to find a pencil skirt that makes me feel cute, but I love this Amsterdam. It fits perfectly. The cinch on the side of this Amsterdam makes it lay on your body perfectly, okay? But look, y'all, that is adorable. Look how cute. I love it. I love it. This Amsterdam I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie if we get off of this live and you don't want a black Amsterdam I'm gonna be like I might have not done my job very well because I don't know about y'all but this is only outfit number two and I'm like this Amsterdam is amazing it's amazing and because it's black it's easy to coordinate but there are a couple of different um colors in the Amsterdam so if you're don't want black you could try a different color okay we can play around with it but I just think this is so cute and again when and and what you would have done if yeah it is available in all sizes Nicole the Amsterdam is um so what you would have done when trying to coordinate your closet is when the Linuxes come came out you would have thought in your head okay I have a black Amsterdam I have a green Colette I have a pink pair of Manhattans. I have denim Manhattans. Those are my staple pieces. What can I find in this release that is going to go with one, two, or all of my staple pieces? Okay. So really cute. That, and then you would have probably picked one with a black background. Okay. Um, Lynn, I have a Broadway. I have a black Broadway. When I'm done with the Amsterdam, I'll put on the black Broadway and we'll see what it looks like. Okay. Again, I could do it again with another Linux. This one is a white one. And I, this Linux is actually a little bit too big on me, okay? I could wear it down, but you may be able to tell it's just kind of big on me, and I wish that it wasn't. So, what I can do, first I'm going to pull up these sleeves just a little bit, so that they don't show through. Just a smidge. You take it, if it's too big, this is a great trick to do when things are too big too. You make them fit. Again, look how cute that is. Now, in my head, the night that this Linux released, I would have thought, what does this, what would this look good with? What staples in my closet would this Linux look good with? I love that Linux. What staples do I have? Well, it looks good with my Amsterdam. It also... This Linux would be so cute with my pink Manhattans because it's like a fun pop of color, okay? So right away I'm like, okay, it would match two of my staple pieces. I need it because it's going to coordinate with my closet. Are you seeing kind of how where I'm going with this? You see a print, you think what staples are going to match, and you pair them up, okay? This one, this is a really good staple, especially for those of you who like black and white and or don't really want to jump into a lot of color, this is a good choice right here. Fun, flirty, cute, pretty amazing, right? Okay. Now, we're going to go again. I'm going to show y'all 
the prints. The prints is a little bit different because it's a crop top. At least it's a crop top for smaller sizes. For plus sizes, it's not actually a crop top. But this is a prints, again, it's black and white. So I would have thought in my head, um, what staple pieces would this match? Again, this prints, right away, I would have said it would look so cute with my pink pants. I love my pink pants, I could pair it really cute and it would look really cute with my staple black dress, okay? Now, I've got it on, it doesn't, it looks okay like this, but I kind of feel frumpy. So what you can do is again, I love knotting shirts on top of dresses. I love it because it gives me that waistline, especially in things like the Lakewood where maybe the Lakewood is a little flowier. Now, you can leave these sleeves out like this if you want to, or you could pull them up and tuck them under. It's totally up to you. And you're, hey Holly, Holly, we've decided that Mondays is now gonna be how-to nights, and we're gonna talk about how to do things. They've already requested lots of topics, so it's gonna be our new Monday night thing, okay? Next, we're gonna do how to travel with Piffany, how to pack your Piffany. We may actually do that like this week though, so that people have it before spring break. So again, I just tucked that sleeve up underneath. You can't even tell that there's a sleeve tucked up underneath it, or you can leave it long, you could even, Pull it up above it like that that would be cute too okay so again you I know aren't the stripes adorable so again when you look at prints you think okay what are my staple pieces what is this going to pair with so I'm gonna take the prints off I know right now I'm doing a black base which is pretty easy but I've been pointing out when things also match other pieces so I hope you're keeping that in mind okay now, another thing that's going to look really cute is our green streets. This green street, right away, I know it's going to match at least two, actually three of my staples. Because this green street would look adorable with my pink pants. Okay? It would also look adorable just layered on top of my Amsterdam. Okay? Now, I'm really going to blow your mind because I'm going to step off the camera just for a second. And I'm going to put these pink pants on and I'm going to show you something even cooler. Okay. Okay. I'm going to swipe this over so that I can see what I'm doing. Okay. This is my Amsterdam. This is it pulled down over my jaggings but watch this pull it up pull it up some more pull it up some more you take this where I've pulled it all this extra fabric you pull it down look, look now I have a tunic now I have a top to go with my jaggings and my green street so right here, right here, I could have worn this green street with just the tunic with or with just with the Amsterdam or I pull it up and it's a top. It is a top, you guys. I'm telling y'all, if we get off today and you don't want a black Amsterdam, I think I'm doing my job wrong. Because look, it literally just looks like a top. And at this point, I could take this green street off. And I could just wear it like this. Look here. Or I could pull out more coordinating pieces from my closet and add them on top. Okay? Just an example of the things you can do when you coordinate your closet. Okay? So this dress, like I'm gonna let's refresh, okay? Monica, that green shoe was a size four. It was a size four. Um I like, I personally like a four. I have a three. If you want me to show you the difference, I'll show you the difference in what a three and a four looks like on me. Um, Mandy, the pink pants are adorable. They're, I mean, they're one of my staple pieces in my closet because I love them so much. So this is a four on me. I could pull it down like this or I can 
let it re wet rest up higher. This is a three. And I will show you. That's, I'm sorry, that's a four. If I said three, I meant four. Yes, I'm wearing a 2X right now. Don't size up in it. I know it's scary um, to size true in it because um, it's a fitted dress, but I promise you, you don't want to size up. It will look good on you if you size true. This is me in a three. So you can see the three, like I can't pull it down long like the four was. It's still cute and it fits me. I like both, but I have both. So three and four. So again, this pink is a staple piece in my closet. So right now we're going to pretend that this is just a black top and we're going to look at the pink pants as my staple piece. Okay. So this is pretending like this is just a black top and not because again, I want to show you guys how I coordinate with the pink. And if, if you have a piece that matches more than one staple, remember that's when it's awesome. You're like, yes, go me. So this wife again would look adorable with the pink pants. Um, this Bowery ag looks adorable with the pink pants. This Bowery also, it hit two, th two staples, which is one reason that I, it actually hit three staples in my closet, which is one reason I bought it. Cause I knew it would look cute with the pink pants. I knew it would look green with my olive pants and I knew it would look good with my olive collette. So it hit three of my staples, which is why I added it to my closet because if it can hit more than one of my staples then I'm like okay I can get it I need it if it can hit if it can pair with more than one of my staple pieces then I know that I can coordinate a lot of things with it and I can make a lot of different outfits um yeah the four would make it a little bit bigger on you for sure again another piece that looks really cute with the pink pants it also matches my olive collette okay let's see this was another shirt that looked cute with my pink pants and it also matched my olive collette because that should be your goal should be remember if you're watching and you just hopped on I assigned you homework so if you're watching and you missed the homework assignment I'm gonna give it again so that and maybe I'll make a post and be like size them the same Nancy you size them the same um Manhattans aren't quite as long as Varick's um, but I love Manhattans. Manhattans have a fake, not a fake pocket, it has a real pocket on the butt. And so that's where I put my phone all the time. And, um, and, uh, when I wear my Varex, I always look for it. So, Nicole, you're like a step ahead of me. Nicole, get out of my head. What I was going to do was I was going to make a post in the group and I was going to say, what are your staple pieces? And I want you to go in your closet and find your three to five staple pieces that you reach for again and again. Usually a state, it's usually solids, okay? It doesn't have to be solids, but it's usually a solids. You t you, uh, and then I want you to take a picture of your staple pieces, three to five staple pieces, and you're gonna post the picture on the post. And then if you want, um, if you want, um, us to make you to tell you things that would coordinate with your staple pieces we'd be happy to and we'll do it on that post I think that's a really good idea and then once you know your staple pieces it's gonna help you pick out other pieces without feeling super overwhelmed because sometimes you might look at an album and think there's 20 different prints in here how am I ever gonna choose but it helps when you know, okay, these are my staple pieces. That print right there matches two of my staple pieces. I can get it. Or that print right there matches three of my staple pieces. So I basically need it because that's three outfits in one. So when you're thinking like that, it really helps. And you may go to your closet and you may look at your closet and say, I don't have any staple pieces. I don't have any three to five pieces that I reach for over and over again. And that's okay. We're here to help you find those staple pieces to make your closet easier. When you know your staple pieces, it's easy to coordinate. It's easy to make outfits. And it just makes the whole experience of getting dressed more fun. Okay, so I'm gonna step off camera um, really fast to you do do a really good job, um, Nicole. 
Yes, it is. It's like making capsule war. Once you know your staples, it's easier to make your capsule wardrobe because you know like what you have to work with. So I'm gonna step off camera and take these pink, pink pants off and pull my dress back down, okay? It's not gonna be a tunic anymore. We're gonna turn it back into a dress. Back into a dress. And you know what? As I'm standing here thinking about this, um, these pink pants, these pink pants would look so cute. My other Amsterdam, this is my other Amsterdam. It would look so cute to wear this Amsterdam as a tunic with these pink pants. And you know what? My olive color would also go with it. Okay, so again, that's another piece that matches my staple pieces. Do you see how much easier it is and how many more options you'll have when you have options? Okay, somebody wanted to know if this would work with the Broadway. Now that I'm thinking about it, the Broadway is a long sleeve dress. So you can tie things on top of it, but you're going to have the sleeves poking out unless you tie long sleeve stuff on top of it. So, do you guys want me to put this on and show you guys how? Um, Alex, I do not have them, but Holly does. So I don't have them here to show you to you guys, um, but Holly does, for sure. Um, Monica, if you don't have penthouse pants, you need a pair of penthouse pants, for sure. Oh, there was something else I wanted to show y'all with this Amsterdam dress. Okay, one more thing. There was another piece I wanted to show you guys. You can take your Amsterdam dress, okay? And you can put a skirt on top. What? Again, things that coordinate in your closet. Now, you may need to take the Amsterdam and pull it up just a little bit. But, and you know the great thing about this is it's a dress, so the dress is going to stay put. But look how cute that is. Now it's a top with my skirt, and you would never know that I have a dress on underneath. But if it's a windy day, and you are like, I don't know, at recess with your students, or walking to your car, and the wind blows up, whoo, no one's going to see anything because you got a dress on. What? Just saying, staple pieces are key in your closet they're key okay yeah the long sleeves you could still do you could probably do the wife with the long sleeves you could probably do a midtown um it's just gonna be a little bit more limited you could definitely still do stuff um but you would just have to play around with it okay right i mean look i'm wearing i'm just wearing it it looks like I'm just wearing a shirt. But we know it's one of my staple pieces. Just saying. Okay, so I hope that you got something out of this video. I know I didn't show you guys what coordinates with all of my staples, but I do have albums that we're going to post. So in the albums, there's going to be an album of coordinating with the Black Amsterdam. There's going to be an album of coordinating with my pink Manhattans. There's going to be an album of coordinating with my blue Manhattans. And there's going to be an album of coordinating with my Olive Colette. Because those are the four stable pieces I wanted to show y'all. And then Holly also did a few of her stable pieces. I think she did three albums of, of her staple pieces and things that you could coordinate with those staple pieces. And she has some albums as well. So Yeah, Morgan, that's one reason that I love this because sometimes when you tuck a shirt into a skirt, um, you're constantly like making sure that the shirt's okay and the shirt comes untucked. And But the this Amsterdam, it's going to stay put because it's a more fitted dress. It's not going anywhere. And then I put the skirt on and now I have pockets. So this is great if you really want to wear your Amsterdam but you need pockets for the day. Now I got pockets, okay? So... 
Yes. So the albums are going to be posted. So like if you go to the Black Amsterdam album, you're going to see all of the things that I can coordinate with my Black Amsterdam. If you go to the Pink Manhattan album, you're going to see all of the things in my closet that I can coordinate with my Pink Manhattans and all of that. So remember your homework, find three to five staple pieces in your closet. And I'm going to make a post where you can post your photo and we'll work from there, but you can also go shop the albums, okay? So, I hope you love this video. I hope you're going to enjoy our how-to series on Monday. And I will see you in the albums when you go shopping to go claim your Black Amsterdam. Because I know all of you want a Black Amsterdam now. It's the best. Bye, guys.